Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? Anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Let's do it.
sorry. Thieves are super lame. yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. 
It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. they got to be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier about whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions. But being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, Aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we going to do about him? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Yeah! <sighs> what a nice smell. 
place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This rent will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. So bitter! Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment! <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see! It's only an attic. Oh man! Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs? Oh, and, uh, thanks for the soda. So you're, uh... On. On to Kamaki. Anchan, huh? That's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee! Sheesh, they had to leave the Mona bag down here. <laughs> Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? Ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? are a lot of famous targets on TV. However, the suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Even if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something! Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great! I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? What? What, my ass? You don't have any cash. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. 
Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. you're all having hot pot for dinner. Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was Ahn, right? She's a nice girl. Oh, I just had a chat with her. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. You found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So, I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Yeah. Just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now. Yes? Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? Yeah, it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, 
How do you know Ahn? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady Ahn like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's our looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cuff him. Understood. 